double click on setup to launch the fluent. Make sure double precision is selected and click OK. Our problem is transient and axisymmetric. Go under models, right click on energy and enable it. And then we'll edit air and non-dimensionalize the problem by setting all three of these to one. The viscosity won't factor in, so we'll leave it as is. We don't need to do anything in cell zones, and if we check our boundary conditions, we notice that we have two axes. Our outer boundary and two symmetries. If we edit our outer boundary, we'll see that it, under the thermal tab it has a zero heat flux, which is what we want. Under controls, we'll go under equations and it, turn off the flow equations. And then under report definitions, we'll right click and select new volume report and we'll use a volume average. We'll call this temp av and we'll do temperature, static temperature in the inner region. Choose all three of those and then click OK. We'll leave our residuals as is and go to initialization. We need temperature to be in Celsius, so we'll go under units and temperature Celsius. Close. We'll set the initialization to zero degrees Celsius everywhere. And then we'll create an initial condition of one degree Celsius in the inner region. And then we'll click patch. Close. For transient, you need to export the data in a specific way. So we'll go to create solution data export file type will be cdat for CFD post and insight. Make sure both cell zones are selected and we want the static temperature for this problem. Write the case file every time. You, you have to change it to flow time and then you can change, enter 0 0.002. For we'll give it a file name of transient and we'll append the file name with the flow time to three decimals and click OK. Go to Run Calculation. We'll use the time step size of 1e to the negative 5 and we'll use 1000 time steps to get to a total flow time of 0 0.01. We'll leave all of this as is and then you're ready to run the calculation.